Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Random Dominions in which we are going to do what, I wonder. So, this board likes trashing. <laughs> well, <laughs> how can we use change links? I don't uh, see any uh, immediate usefulness of those. All right, I think I'm gonna open Scavenger Silver and try to go from there. Hidden six would be really nice. Obviously on five I get a witch. Well, that also works, I guess. I mean, I can uh, summon some thing here, but I, I think I just go with the witch. Sadly, my scavenger missed. But at least he didn't draw his uh, scavenger turn 3 or whatever. But he drew turn 4. And he got to 6, so that's pretty damn good for him. Well, if I draw my witch now, that's gonna be great. Well, I didn't. Um, but we are definitely going to discard here, put the witch on top, and get another one, and uh, uh, with a with a boy village. So hey, look at this draw. Ain't that great? I wonder if uh, two witches is enough. If I get uh, another five or six early, I might get a third one. Well, uh, so what's the next hand? Just a bunch of garbage, right? Hmm. Uh, yeah, it has. Let me count it, maybe. It has uh, silver and uh, like three uh, uh, estates, and the rest is and two coppers. So, do I want to summon? It doesn't skip the shuffle anyway. I feel like just getting a stable here. That's right. Oh, that should be just another plaza. That ain't great. But well. Unless I draw my second witch here, I should be alright. He gets a second scavenger. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like the worst thing. So is the change leak worth it? I think it might be. Uh, let's get one, see how it goes. So yeah, that was pretty bad shuffle for me. So maybe um, he takes a second reach now. So maybe uh, getting another Scavenger is a thing, I don't know. Uh, that should be just another plaza, and then I'll have a lot of villages so I can maybe add some swashbucklers. Yeah. Alright. So, that was a pretty bad shuffle, which uh, allowed him to uh, catch up a bit on the witch place, anyway. But. Uh, this one should be much better, and I'm pretty happy to draw this change link and uh, scavenger too. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to discard. So I know there is witch, but it's only one, and uh, yeah. So do I want a 
like a candlestick. I don't really think so, being honest. Might just get like a sewer for some additional money because I don't have the whole lot. I, I think it, it should be worth it. And let's get uh, Border Village uh, with a, probably a swashbuckler at this point. All right. So I should be good here. Might like summon a plaza here. Yeah, let's try and do that. Just for some additional consistency. Swashy might actually give me some uh, uh, yeah, actually I I maybe maybe I can get a key, but apparently not not this turn anyway. So let's play the witch first. Discard that. Uh, put the well witch on top is fine, I think. And that's gonna be another border village swashy. All right. So I feel. Pr oh my god, <laughs> that's not nice. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, do I want this candlestick? I mean, I'm going to get, yeah, all right, let's get the candlestick maker. I'm not sure if it's good, but there are definitely some draws when it can be useful, the plus buy aspect of it. And I might accumulate some uh, coffers which will uh, maybe potentially allow me to get to like double bronze or like bronze and dashi, I don't know. So that's going to be a treasure chest for me. It, it requires four coffers. All right. Yeah. It's mine. And uh, discard for whatever it's worth. And discard again. Mm, and uh, well, I know I have a swashbuckler in there and a second witch. I probably don't want two terminals on top. Uh, actually, do I have a second witch here? I'm, I'm not even sure. Gains the gold. Well. Hmm, do I want to change link? I think I'm good with the gold. Um, thanks for me now. Come on. So, I can... Uh, I can get a bronze here, or I can get like summon uh, another plaza i think i should get like boreal swashy all right and uh starting from this turn that's going to be bronzes So he didn't quite get the treasure chest out of me, so it's good. Gonna be having two golds at least, unless I decide to trade one for uh, for a border which kind of want to maybe play the plaza first. Let's try to. Well, hmm. All right, whatever. Uh, obviously to uh, the point of playing the plaza first to maybe draw a copper and discard it so that swashbuckler gives uh, an additional uh, economy so 
So most of my draw is gone, so I'm going to discard. Put the swashbuckler on top. Uh, I might, I might uh, change this gold for border uh, for uh, change link so that I can get a dashi maybe with the border which I think I like this plan. And that's going to be a bronze. Well, <laughs> that sucks a lot, right? But. Uh, Still feel like I am ahead, so it's fine. He's gonna. Oh, never mind. His his turn kind of sucks. Um. Don't more. Yeah, let's get the changelings. Think I like that. I can spend up to the bronze here. I think I want to like summon a plaza. Yeah. That's, and don't want to mm, do anything with the changeling because uh, I kind of want I kind of want to uh, have a couple around to be able to get the dashes. So it's a good thing I uh, get I got this uh, plaza summoned, right? Discard that. Click a lot of buttons. Uh, probably good with the changelings. Uh, well, I'm. I think I just. I'm just good with the prawns. All right. And that that hand looks pretty good. Wonder if he gets a bronze here. If he does, I'm well. I'm I'm perfectly fine with just uh, hoarding my tokens and uh, I mean uh, whatever they call it, coffers, and uh, uh, get just one bronze here. But uh, it's alright. He. He didn't get the bronze. Discard the copper. Maybe I should actually. Maybe I just missed a play here with the scavenger. But then again, I'm. I might just want to play it on the last thing in my turn because. To uh, put put something. Uh, uh, to discard everything, and hey, um, that's uh, what we're going to do here. Put the probably watch buckler on top. Uh, continue. It's gonna be a bronze and uh, a duchy. All right, nice. So looking good here. And I still have one one change link, which I might draw and get another dashi. That's going to be wonderful. And also I have a lot of coffers, so yeah, should be set. All right. Uh, discard. Uh, well. Uh, so not the greatest draw, but he doesn't have any way of getting more than a single prize per turn. Wow, that's that's like the worst though. Should I? So what if I like summon now, just to make sure that uh, I have th something next turn? Uh, if he gets a bronze, I think it's safer than just buying a bronze because if I dot next turn, 
then uh, well I won't be having the whole lot of coffers I think I like summoning the piles are fine mm. yeah that should be better to give me a better chance of uh, drawing this turn finding more draw and uh, this uh, changeling of mine he now has a treasure chest but uh, at this point it it doesn't matter just gain some Dutch all right let's discard so here's the candlestick let's see if we can find some draw uh, so I think at this point I kind of need to discard with a scavenger and top deck uh, swashy right and uh, that looks good I, I, I probably I just have it already All right, so that went good for me. Hooray! On to the next one. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, that's the same guy. So, Alms and five two. That's usually pretty damn good. Hmm. But again, there is no trashing, and this time no villages. The only reasonable draw is uh, Secret Passage Wishing Wells. Well, Menagerie is kind of not too great here. So, Courtier is also not too great here, because it doesn't have the whole lot of targets. Like, besides Fool's Gold and Skulk? Well, actually, Skulk is a really nice target, alright. Hmm. Do I still want a Cartier? I mean, I can open with a Cartier Skulk. There are no attacks, right? Capitals should be good before Dominate. I don't know, I'll get a Cartier and a Skulk. I think it's fine. If if they collide, that's gonna be pretty damn good. If not, I'll well, I get I guess I'll just get gold. It's also fine. Let's see what he had as an opening. Gets a uh, gets a skulk. Well, that ain't too great, but gold is fine. I'll just get the gold and probably uh, ah, secret passage first sounds sounds all right and uh, this card that didn't hurt so. <clears throat> Actually, between the courtiers and secret passages, there might be some room for menageries. Gets double wish well, all right. I think I want to get another courtier. Or maybe a capital. I think I like the courtier. It's fine. So, that is nice. Gonna reveal that. Um, action. I don't need the buy, right? I'm gonna get the buy from the Skulk, so everything but the buy. Action coins gold. Yeah. He's diluted, which doesn't do the whole lot. 
I'm gonna be buying uh, Wishing Well and Secret Passage. Yeah, nice. So here, honestly, I might just get the plus buy. Which isn't too great, but it's fine. So, delusion will. Okay, so he gets the capital. It's it's all right. Uh, I'll get the plus buy. Get like uh, wishing well menagerie. Probably just two wishing wells. Discarded my wish well. Well, so be it. Hmm. I might try to put this courtier back. Uh, and let's get the capital, uh, capital as well. All right, so that was kind of lucky. Trashed my secret passage. How rude is that? All right, wish for a copper, nice. So everything but the buy, right? Well, what I what I can do, I can just get the buy and get. Uh, I won't be able to get three wishing wells, right? So it doesn't matter. Don't need the buy then. Action coins, gold. Haunting kind of doesn't do the whole lot. Probably another capital and like... I'll, I'll try and go for menagerie. I, at this point, I have enough uh, variety in the deck that it might work. And uh, obviously the courtiers are disappearing, so that's something as well. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, they are only disappearing if they see the skull, which at, uh, at uh, this point is somewhat stretched. So let's see what this does for him. Mm. Passage in the well. So he really wants to get there with the combo. Uh, wrong order. All right, uh, let's switch for another copper. I can just put the gold in there and uh, yeah, I can put the gold like somewhere, I don't know. And uh, get the rest of the vision wells, for example. Hmm, damn it, those uh, hangouts. And uh, I think my internet connection is fine. It's, uh, it's probably something with the server. All right, let's put it on top, whatever. Oh, wait a second, what have I done? Mm, stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I, I miscounted, miscalculated, whatever. Um, ah, that was not good. All right, just gain the gold and I think another capital. So, if you draw like two capitals together, that should be pretty good. Let's not draw the copper, let's wish for like an estate. 
All right. Hey, manager activation. And uh, I think I can dominate here. Action coins, gold. Gave him a curse, which is nice. All right. Dominate. Yeah. Um, do I want a wish well? I think I'd rather get a menagerie maybe at this point. Obviously, I didn't need to spend all the money because, you know, the debt. But pretty happy to be able to dominate. And kind of lucky to activate the menagerie, but not too far fetched, I'd say. So he's, uh, he's getting uh, his uh, secret passage wishing wells up and running. Which is good for him. But I think he only has one capital and he doesn't have uh, as many golds as I do. But look at that, he almost draws his deck. Like... He's getting pretty close to that anyway. Discard a card. All right. Well, I can discard a capital. Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'd rather use it and put some something nice into the deck. So hey, he can dominate. All right. Good for him. Uh, let's just get another menagerie, right? Mm, or is it worth it? I don't know, let's get the menagerie. Alright, that looks like... Hmm... Twen yeah, okay, that's another dominate. I'm gonna be, like, in a huge depth after that. But it's fine, misery, well... Hurts like a little bit, but not too much. I think his last turn was like super good for him. And uh, he... He probably shouldn't expect to get a lot of such turns in the future. Uh, 17 depth, that's a lot of depth. But... Given this amazing hand, I should I should be just fine here. So decision wise on this board it's like I don't know. I think it would be a mistake to not try to build for dominate because this board despite uh being not very strong definitely contains the means of getting there with capitals and uh, well basically with capitals and getting some golds and maybe like he, the thing that he does is uh, attempting to draw a whole lot mm, let's see if we maybe can well we can't really get anything out of this uh, menagerie so just gonna guarantee the draw with the uh, wish well. All right. Uh, I gonna I gonna try to get lucky and get this skulk. Nope. All right. Uh, so in this case, just coins. All right. I mean, then again, I'm not sure if it was correct to try for that, but um, the fact that I didn't draw the thing that I, uh, what was there, a bronze, uh, it's fine. But if I drew this calc, it would have been like super nice. So I think it, uh, it made some sense here. And uh, yeah, also I if I if I knew like 
draws like among those 10 cards, nine are coppers and one is the card that I want and wishing for this card that I want is probably not the smartest thing, but you just wish for copper most of the times. But here I didn't, I didn't actually knew what's, what's going on. So we, I got what bad omens, so that means I can safely wish for the copper. I almost uh, gonna get rid of the debt. Greed. Well, that that's uh, that's not the biggest deal. That is nice. Wow. So my manager is definitely doing a great job for me here. Yeah, you know, the the only bad thing about this Vision Well Secret Passage combo is it takes a while to click through it. So he might want to get like another capital here or something. Well I don't I don't think terminal draw is gonna be well, he thinks otherwise. Alright. Uh, that's it for the menagerie draw. But, uh, all right, envious, huh, that should hurt, all right, so dominate here, and I think I, at this point I'm just going to uh, not take any additional debt. Well, actually, that didn't hurt the whole lot, right? Because it would have been seven, so whatever. Uh, I can wish for this estate. Like as if I really want it. That's all right. That ain't too great. And I still have a capital left down there. Mm, but a single cap did I say catapult or hmm. but a single capital won't be most likely won't be enough to donate. But and I don't have it anymore. <laughs> so that's funny. Alright, let's get a silver. Uh, passage and let's get some coins and another menagerie I guess so hmm that's kind of tough because I On, I can kind of hope to draw, I only need to draw two coins to get to dominate. But on the other hand, I really don't want all the nice cards to miss the shuffle. So honestly, I think I... Alright, that's a dominate for him. But given that he has the depth and I'm so far ahead, I think I just uh, gain another gold and buy the province here. I think that should be the best. Alright, and that should be another province for me. So even if he dominates now, well, I, I don't think it's possible, right? I mean, if he draws like everything, but it doesn't look like it. So, 
Then again, everything but the buy, which is this one. He gets another curse. I get another prince. And probably, all right, that's, that kind of locks it. So, hey, that's going good for me. And uh, it's kind of, it's kind of silly that, wow. Huh, so come on dude i'm supposed to play random people but anyway uh, kind of silly that we are drawing uh, those boards where uh, you know they're pretty pretty random so what's in here hmm how about rebuild i mean you can Probably, probably doesn't work. Probably it's slow here. On the other hand, what what do you? Well, you probably go with uh, some masquerade and transition into butchers, butchers, right? That's the correct way to pronounce it. Uh, let's let's go with masquerade silver. Get the. Mm, might think about getting the trading post first. All right, that's an overkill with the money. Although I might, if he for some reason gives me the copper, I might get to inheritance. Uh, nope. I think I'm gonna get a trading post here, and the next hand is gonna be a squire. I'm not sure if it's good. But obviously the reasoning here is that uh, the, probably the strongest card on the board is a butcher, and uh, it goes way better with the silvers than with the coppers. All right, and I'm kind of pretty damn lucky here not to draw anything that. Let's get the butcher. Mm. I don't think you should try and uh, get the inheritance here. So that was nice. So here I can get either a second masquerade, uh, which would be nice for me, but also I think I kinda, uh, whatever, let's get the mask. So yeah, my problem is I'm kinda over terminal here. Wow, gets a potion, hmm. I'm not sure about that. So do I try some uh, this into that here? Like, getting a squire? I might just get like squire and masquerade. Or I can just get the gold. I think I like the gold. Yeah. I think you you don't really want to overcomplicate this board. So it's it's good for him to uh, get this golem right away though, but I'm not sure if it's uh, So the last card is the hmm. And I don't want all of this to miss. So probably just going to get another gold. That ain't uh, nice, though. Unless he gives me a square. <laughs> so will we get the bronze here or what?
So I ended ended up only using the straight in post once. So I'm not sure whether it was good. But here I think I'll just uh, turn it into another butcher. So he gets a prize, all right. And uh, I can either get the bronze. Oh, well, I can't. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, let's get the gold. I think I should be good here. Well, although he's he's ahead on on points. Uh, let's draw to the end here, and I can get the bronze. All right. Mm, that's probably going to be another province for him. I'm asking to... So he didn't play the mask. Oh, never mind. He has a golem. All right, I see. Oh, okay. So... I, I know what, why he did that. So he, he had all his actions in his hand. He knew it, so he turned the mask into mask to play it with a golem. All right. Um, I can get Brian's Dachi here. Or I can get Brian's Harem. Hmm. I think I like Brian's Dachi. Well, that ain't great, because I'm probably going to be forced to give him my mask here. Oh, never mind. So, that's that's really good. Alright, definitely playing the Butcher and... Uh, uh, golden to Bronze looks like a uh, correct thing to do. And, uh, I don't know, let's get a Squire. I have some Terminals, so might still be good. I could have given him the masquerade here or the square. Well. Uh three five six mm. Wait, actually I'm not buying the province here, right? It's Actually, I'm kind of don't really like where I am here. I can trash the square for no reason. Okay, mm, so don't trash. Get the buys. And what can I get? Duchy to estates? I mean, with two butchers in the deck, I don't think I'm gonna see those cards. So what's the maximum points I can get? Probably this without touching the provinces, which I don't want to do. Hmm, that thing again. All right. So... Yeah, kind of ended up... Um, I don't know, maybe his... Uh, all this golem um, thing was worth it. Wow, that ain't great. And damn it. And the problem is, uh, the last, I mean, there are two butchers in those four cards. Wow, that's like extremely bad like that's like the worst i think i sh i need just to you know like gain and gain a silver here and yeah can't really do the whole lot with that hmm pretty bad yeah and obviously he 
he's pretty likely to just uh, get both provinces here. Let's see what he gives me. Hmm. So I don't know. Maybe I should have been drawing, but uh, I don't know. It went pretty bad. I I think well, no matter if I. Well, I, I choose one way to not, not draw it, but the other way drawing it would have been also bad anyway, so... Uh, so, by the amount of time he takes thinking about it, I, I, he probably doesn't have it here, I, I would assume. Just get the duchy. But I'm done. I I mean, he's uh, he's ahead, and I can't really. I'm not going to see those cards again. That's the problem. Yep. Well, honestly, I'm not even sure I should be getting those estates because, well, I guess I have, I still have a small chance. Well, not anymore. Mm. Although, uh, Well, that's going to be a harem. Hooray. Uh, actually, wait a second. I, I can tie here, but I'm the first player. So, nope. Not going to do that. Um, I am a first player. That's going to tie. So, yeah. Harem. Huh. Where are my butchers? They kind of seriously misbehave here. Uh, so I think I'm gonna give him an estate as opposed to giving him a copper because it might make the difference but probably will not because he can just butcher whatever into the province. All right. Hmm. So, yeah, that one... I. I don't know, I think mm, it, it, I'm not convinced that a golem was worth it, actually, because, uh, well, maybe it was. Thing is, I, I kind of got a uh, bad shuffle, a bad uh, butcher mm, behavior, right? They collided at the end of the shuffle and uh, yeah, so... Maybe um, Golem is kind of suppo supposed to cure this situation, but I think on the kind of average draws, you just end up getting there much faster with just uh, skipping the uh, Golem. So another Butcher board. And... Uh, uh, well... Here we can like have a lot of everything. Probably gonna be an inventor for me. Well, it might be a silver. Probably just want an inventor. Gonna invent another. Actually, another inventor. 
and stonemason for encampments. So nobody trenched anything. So that is just going to be another encampment as opposed to a forager. Would be really nice to hit 5 this turn. Or rather, stone mason in for fives, so that would be really amazing. But none of that had happened. So, I'll just get another forager, right? I have two inventors, I don't really care of getting more right now. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get the forager. feel like I want to draw to the end of the shuffle and in uh, hmm well now the problem is I I don't have any uh, encampments left so I don't really want another for another inventor right now so probably just uh, get like butcher Mm -hmm. I might get the plunder, and then trash this estate into nothing, which is nice, and get like two forms. Mm, yeah, I kind of like that. So the bad thing is, I yeah, I don't have any encampments now. But I'll get one here or more and now actually I feel like I I should be getting the encampments and not letting them go because they're gonna be good uh, for all the stuff you want to do here mm. the stuff you want to do here ironically might include treasure maps <laughs> I mean I'm not. I'm not convinced. Probably, uh, maybe inventors is just uh, better payload altogether. So hey, that got sour. Hmm. All right. Discard the coppers. Forger the stonemason. Wow. Still zero coppers trashed. Huh. Um. Probably want this encampment, and uh, yeah, all right. So I have two encampments now, and hopefully gonna get another one here. Hmm. And um, so yeah, I like my position because he, I, I think his mistake maybe is uh, getting all the inventors uh, really fast and uh, before getting like a second forager. And he keeps getting them, I mean he won't really be able to play them all because uh, he won't he won't have nearly as many uh, encampments against two foragers. All right. Mm. Discard that. So I can trash like silver into. Uh, Encampment, but it's only one encampment down there, right? Well, not actually. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, it's only one. So I guess I'd just rather trash the encampment, trash the stonemason, and buy 
uh, encampment and mm, I don't know another forager I'm not even sure I don't think I want the silver I actually I don't think I want the forager I yeah I, I kind of want to increase the chances of drawing mm, yeah, plunders with my encampments and here I, I I'm gonna try and keep it I'm gonna get another plunder here so the piles are getting like really low and definitely need to watch out for the pile outs at this point uh, plunder that's nice gonna draw more uh, so I might just have an engine here so mm, let's try to do something like that I'm not sure if it's good being honest uh, So if I invent the plunder, I can then get two foragers, uh, I mean the rest of the foragers for two coins and two buys, and I'm going to have another buy, which is going to be enough for plunder. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to be ahead in points because I, I'll play the... So one, uh, then two, and the plunder. All right, nice. Uh, so what's up with the time? I think I should play another one, because why not? So the only trashion on this one is a mint and it has a swan hack which is terrible on the boards with no curse trashing and when you can buy it a lot it's just really frustrating. So he opens with a potion. Mm. Which might be good, but if he misses that, it's like gonna be terrible. So if I get the bridge, what does it give me? It gives me uh, a way to get up to the five. I I think I think you want to do, uh, risk the potion, and that should probably be a crossroads. All right, so. He goes with the hack. I'm perfectly fine with just getting the buff points here. I mean, it's better than getting the curse and buying something. He gets the crop rotation here, which makes perfect sense to me. But I'm getting the alchemist, which is nice. Obviously, the ideal would be to get the crop rotation on the turn where he plays his hag. Like here, for example. Uh, and hey, I can do it, so that's great. That's like, that was really like it for me. I mean, then again, not uh, unreasonably lucky, but quite lucky. So you might mean here, yeah, that's what he does. Mm. I might mean here, but I don't have any money then. I'm gonna have three coins in my deck, so I can't really, I can't really do that. Think I need to get the hack to annoy him to my best abilities. And 
if I get uh, to play one here, which I do, that's gonna be great. And this might be a mint. Uh, I can get uh, like some silvers out of it. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Probably probably just want to get the both points and it's but I think points is better than the silver probably and uh, don't think I want the curse all right <clears throat> so this turn needs to be uh, another hack for me Gets an alchemist. Mm, well, sadly, I can't really get the heck here because I don't have enough money. So, all right, just another alchemist then, which is also fine. I mean, I, I might get the breach. Ah. All right, so you didn't play the hack, which is like super great for me. I don't want more silvers, I don't think. So now the thing is, I I already have this uh, uh, hack for the next turn, so I think I'd rather buy the bridge here because it's gonna be pretty useful. Sadly, no crop rotation draw for me here, but it's okay. Plays the hang and gets the bridge. I need to play the hang here, which I can do. So, what I can do now, I can like buy another alchemist and the hag. Oh, which ain't great because of the curses. But I think I definitely want another hag. Yeah, I kinda need to do it. And probably I don't think another alchemist worth uh, is worth a good curse. Alright. So, yeah, uh, Swamp Hack on this kind of boards is kind of like terribly annoying. He should get, uh, he should buy one here uh, and get the cures because you can't, you can't always uh, skip buying stuff. You, at some point, you just need to get at least more hacks to get to, you know, to make it more painful. All right, get my hack. Oh, damn it. <laughs> And bottom decked it. Uh, ain't great. Don't want another whatever currency. So, Alchemist and probably a Tronum. Right. Hmm, not good. Alright, so he didn't get in, uh, his into play. Gets another crossroads, uh, which I don't necessarily like. Well, didn't draw everything, but it's fine. Uh, I might get something like a lost city. Probably just another charm is better. Uh, 
Um, so with this amount of alchemists, the crop rotation won't do the whole lot anymore. Most of the time. So he accepted the curses as uh, as a thing he needs to put into his deck. I'm going to draw on the hag and uh, mm, well I don't I don't feel like I really need to buy this uh, alchemist here. I do I want to buy I can just you know like how about the bronze? Hmm. I think it's all right. So, all right, I kind I'm kind of missed him buying the draw room. Let's see what I can draw. Well, didn't draw. Didn't draw the potion. Uh, actually, that's pretty bad because I. I didn't draw the potion and I didn't draw. And and I drew all the green cards in hand, so most likely I won't activate the crop rotation either next turn. Uh, I I don't really want to go for two curses here, so I'm gonna just yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Damn it! Well, I mean, uh, I probably get an alchemist here. Gets the bronze. Well, what I might do, I might get a bridge and like another one. Probably just an alchemist. And no crop rotation again. Not nice. Alright. No hack for him though. So, so we split the alchemists. I think I have six. Well, let's hope I can. Uh, uh, well, my second throne is in the discard, but I think I have enough draw in here to get back to it. Let's uh, try and draw. Well, not quite there. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I can buy a lot of stuff here. Well, I can't. I can't buy any stuff here. I. I don't even have the products. That sucks. Damn it! All right, uh, let's get what? Let's get like drawn room bridge, drawn room crossroads maybe. All right. I feel like my crop rotation lets me down. All right, he played two hanks. Gets nothing. <clears throat> mm, just draw more. Well, actually, that means I'm not drawn in my uh, hang, but then again, I'd rather just draw it. All right. Uh, so, do I want this double curse? I mean, I don't, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take one. I'm not gonna take it. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, this game now is really ah, not great. So the good thing is he he will not attack me this turn. Because he both his hacks are in play. 
And if he doesn't draw a potion here, uh, well, never mind. He he gonna have that. Oh, hey, double bronze for him! Oh my god. Can I even double bronze? Uh, so, ideally, I would draw on the bridge and draw on the hag. But probably let's start with drawing the alchemist because I have two more drones. Uh, yeah, let's probably just play the crossroads here. And I can play another one. Yeah, okay. I should have been considering uh, playing the mint. At least uh, should have thought about it. Damn it! I, <laughs> I should have done it, right? Oh my god, that was, that was really a big mistake for me. Because I ended up not having enough money. Hmm... All right, so another breach and uh, draw room. I think so. But at least I have all my alchemists on top now. All right. So that should be winning for me now. Those silvers are pretty bad for him, I think. Because most of all, you still want to... Mm, you pretty much still want to draw... Uh, to draw the hags and bridges. So... Probably gonna be drawn in, uh, drawn in the crossroads, as opposed to an alchemist. So I can play this now. All right. Pit stop. <clears throat> and I can, I think I can safely double this turn. So let's draw on the crossroads. Alright, uh, I can breach, I can uh, mint here, I think. Uh, what's on top there? Oh, never mind, he just resigned. So, uh, well, yeah, I, either way, I think I, I would have it definitely here, because I can uh, buy, buy two bronzes, put all my alchemists on top and then um, put two hacks in play so put, I mean not two hacks but two hack plays so let's play one more this time gonna be the last one and uh, did I lose any uh, I think I've lost one. I, I forgot already. Hmm, such a short memory. So, what this one is about? Uh, looks like it's about pools. Looks like 5-2 is pretty damn bad here. Wow, 5-2 is like... That's gonna be hard, and he's the first player, so then that's gonna be an uphill battle for me. Mm. It should be like either research loan or potion loan. That's the research. What should I do? I think I just get the research and be sad about it, but. I, I can't really see any other way, so yeah. Maybe he also has a 5 2, who knows? <clears throat> I 
so yeah obviously this uh this board has a lot of uh, actually a secret passage in uh, chair race is a pretty strong direction mm, tower it's definitely so silver i kind of don't really like uh, probably want the loan because the faster you get rid of the coppers the better so sadly I didn't draw I didn't get uh, to the potion here I mean I didn't fail to buy one here so might be just a cherry race trash this and uh, that should be just uh, just a potion for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, thing is, you don't you don't really want to draw all your stuff always because uh, you need to have something left for your chair races. But still, you can. I I don't think you can forego the pools here. And. Oasis and secret passages will allow you to uh, to put some cards into either top of the deck or discard so that you can reveal them with the chair race anyway, so it's fine. So let's see what he gets. Gets a gold. I don't really like that. Get the second pool here. So given it is a single gain board, well, that's not necessarily true, right? Because of the forge. Uh, so yeah, I kind of think uh, I should stop picking up the pools at some point. Uh, discard that. Discard that. And probably I don't want him to have the silver too. So pretty sad my cherry race is missed. And I think I might just go for more cherry races now. Uh, let's get the third pool. And yeah, um, probably no more pools for now. I can get the forge to get rid of my loan and potion and uh, research maybe. So let's see what I have on top. He has a well. Okay, that was the wrong order, right? Hmm. Actually, I'll discard that and discard his research. And hey, that's pretty stupid because my top card is the uh, chair race, and uh, there is a scrying pool. I think I'd rather left. I'd rather leave the uh, pool, uh, the chair race on top. And it's about time to get this uh, oasis, I think. So oasis will allow me to get uh, to solve those situations with like discarding something and uh, then uh, revealing it with a uh, chair race. Hmm, that's not good. All right. Looks like it's another pool after all. Hmm. So it's not going to be a fast one, let's be honest about it. So he gets surprised. All right. Uh, top like that. 
Uh, yeah, he can top deck this state. Mm. So the rest uh, generates uh, pool uh, and oasis. So all of those are good. Mm. Now let's get those. Oh, wait a second. I only have one race? What? Right. I only have one race. So... Alright. Mm. Uh, probably want a Mystic here. Uh, for the economy. So that I can uh, buy the Forge. So that I can turn my cards I don't really want anymore into cards I do want mm, but yeah uh, honestly I'm kind of being slightly sloppy here I think because uh, well it's 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 kind of a tricky board because it's a single gain board basically and uh, you kind of want a lot of stuff here because I don't think just going for Prince is, uh, will work. Mm, discard this potion, discard his chair race. Uh, top deck the Mystic, and top deck his Copper. So. Hmm. Uh, I don't have any coppers there, so it's fine. Uh, I can't really research. I don't really want to research this state, I don't think. So I think I want to maybe keep it. So... Because it might, uh, it might uh, be useful with, uh, with the forge. All right, I'm, I'm kind of falling asleep. I, I shouldn't have been playing this one. So... Hmm, he gets another province. Well... Oh my god, he gets two. Oh my god, that's so bad. Wow. Maybe I have overestimated what you can do on this board. Uh, yeah, he can top deck this state. Uh... I think I can safely do that because I only have two estates and like uh, two coppers I think is that even true and uh, so uh, Oracle the scrying pool uh, always is the scrying pool and now I can uh, pretend that I gain uh, that I well, you know, you, you you got the idea. So now this loan goes into... Uh, mm, probably along with the coppers. Yeah, I don't don't want those coppers around. Goes into chair race. And I probably just want another chair race. Mm, yeah. So now I'm gonna have this problem where my pools just draw everything and I don't have anything to reveal. So I think I should play this first one blind and then I can play another one with uh, Oasis discard. Gets gold, all right. So that's not nice. Uh, top deck that, discard that surely. So yeah, I drew everything here. So now let's uh, set up. He gets a top uh, copper on top, which is nice. So I can uh, get at least a point here. 
but that's about it sadly uh, so mystic and uh, forge this actually I get uh, rid of the research first uh, because potion will stop my pools from drawing everything <laughs> and get the secret passage here which will allow me to set up uh, another cherry race so I might be fine because I'm gonna be steadily gaining mm, quite solid amount of points every turn I'm I mean I'm kind of guaranteed to do it but uh, given that he has the forge and he has some golds and whatnot he might still come ahead here Yeah, another kills another prince. Well, then he definitely is doing the correct thing for his deck. He his only hope is the short game where he kills all the princes, and uh, I I still don't have the enough points. Mm, top deck that. Uh, I might as well leave the chair race on top for now because. Uh, Mm, well, uh, because I can uh, like top deck the forge here, and I can uh, discard the forge here. All right, um, and now I can maybe discard this chair race because it's actually a kind of a nice card. And probably that too. So uh, now I'll forge this. Uh, I don't think I need. I need to aim for the princess. So probably not. Just not gonna do that. Uh, so this pay is secret passage and just get another chair race. So starting from now, I should be guaranteed to get three points per turn, which might not be enough, honestly. Gets Dashi. Dashi doesn't help him a lot in the slightest bit. Dashi is actually fundamentally wrong for him because Dashi decreases his chances of getting more provinces, and that's like the only thing that he wants to get more provinces. Uh, so I can, I want to discard the province definitely from him, and uh, silver is fine. He can have that. So now discard the Mystic. Uh, let's get the full value of this mystic, like really. Mm. So now what? Uh, what was there? Uh, probably want to discard the silver and uh, yeah, that still looks better. So uh, there is. I probably don't really want to do anything with this uh, forge now. So just gonna buy another secret passage. Cause, uh, so that will allow me to do what to do four points per turn. Hmm. So he's on. I. How many cherry races does he have? I think it's well. It's either one or two. Well, now it's one. And uh, that's another province for him. Top deck that. He can top deck the copper, that's quite fine. Chair race, chair race, chair race, and another one. And uh, another one. Alright. Mm. So. Let's pretend that I really need to have this uh, pool on top. And what I can do now, I can get... So did he just... 
So he, unfortunately, he shuffled last turn because otherwise I could have maybe tried to get the province. So uh, what I might want to do now is to get another chair race and maybe get the tower points. I also can just get the Proence and two Proences actually. But that shouldn't be good because if he buys one, I lose. I think the best thing for, for me to do here would be to get rid of one of the pools and this uh, estate and get another passage. And like. Uh, he probably won't be able to get two provinces. Uh, yeah, I think he can. It would be a really super uh, great for his deck to both buy the province and mill into the last province. So I think that should be rather safe. All right, and here I can probably just win because I uh, get up to eight and I can, well. Let's see. Uh, Dachi. Dachi is fine, I think. So. Hmm. All right, let's play. Top like that. Maybe I should have been discarding the dashi. Huh. All right, let's let's just play another pool. So and let's count. So all the cherry races, if they all profit, uh, they'll give me. Uh, that's four more points. And then I can. Uh, uh, all right, let's start playing. So, uh, Oasis, the Forge, done. Uh, chair race, Passage, the Forge, Chair race. So the thing is, I, I won't really have enough uh, forge food left. Mm. But it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? Yeah, so, hey, looks like we got there after all. It was a uh, very slow play for me, the last turn especially. But yeah, I kinda, kinda need board. I, I think I, it was kinda close. He could've get like a bit more lucky and uh, just get the last promises. But I think I, on, in, on average, I like my deck better here. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.